how to get regular OTA updates and install on your phone even if you have installed any custom recovery on your phone. And as you know that if you have installed any custom recovery on your phone then you can't install any OTA updates. And if you wanted to know how to install OTA updates even if you have custom recovery installed on your phone then this video is for you. So make sure guys you watch the full video until the end and hello and welcome guys welcome to Cracksaw YouTube channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you get regular OTA updates and install OTA updates on your phone even if you have custom recovery installed on your phone. So without wasting time let's get started. And as you can see here, this is Redmi Note 5 Pro which is based on Android Pie and based on MIUI 10 global beta version 9.5.16 and the Android security pass level of 2019 5.5. And when I click on the system update, you can see here there is OTA update of MIUI 10 9.5.23 available here. And I have already installed custom recovery piece black on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. And if you don't know how to install custom recovery piece black on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, then I have made a separate video on it. You can check the video will be in the description so that you can easily install custom recovery piece black on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. And in file manager, you can see here this PBRP folder indicates that the custom recovery piece black is installed on our phone. And remember guys you have to install custom recovery piece black only and if you try to install other custom recovery then this method will not work and make sure guys you have installed custom recovery piece black from the video in the description below only so that there will be no any further problem and after installing custom recovery piece black on your phone then you have to download full ROM of your phone on which MIUI version you are right now. And I'm on MIUI 10 global beta 9.5.16 so I have to download this ROM for my Redmi Note 5 Pro and I have already downloaded it as you can see here. And you need to flash the full ROM for the first time only. You don't need to flash the full ROM every time when you get the OTA updates so remember this thing. And I have already downloaded the full ROM and saved on my device. And now I will power off my phone and I will go to the custom recovery mode by pressing the power button and the volume up button simultaneously as you can see here on the screen. Then I will be redirect to the custom recovery piece black mode. So this is how custom recovery piece black looks like. So first of all what you have to do is you have to click on the advanced button. So simply click on it and click on the additional and click on special and click on setting OTA and this kind of interface will appear I will show you its close look so that you can see it clearly and you can see here include system in OTA survival is crossed here so what you have to do is you have to click on it and make it enable and make sure all of them are enabled so here you can see all of them are ticked here all of them are enabled so now go back So here you have to click on the wipe button. So simply click on wipe button and select advanced wipe. And from here you have to select Delvic and catch only. So make sure you have selected Delvic and catch only and then swipe. And now go back and click on the install button. And from here you have to select the full ROM zip file that you have downloaded. So click on it and then swipe. And as you know that this process will take some time so I will fast forward this process and this is almost done so we have to wait here. Now swipe it and click on wipe cache Delvic and just swipe and now go back and again we have to go to OTA settings and check either all of them are enabled or not. So for this you have to click on the advanced button and click on additional and click on special and click on setting OTA and I will show you it closely so that you can see it clearly and you can see here include system in OTA survival is disabled. So you have to click on it and make it enable and make sure all of them are enabled. Now go back. Now click on reboot 
and click on system and your phone will reboot to system and this process might take some time so i will fast forward this process as well and phone completely reboots now i will unlock the patron so we are in home page right now and i will go to the file manager and there you will see a new folder named as pb and inside that folder there is another a new folder ota so here you can see after flashing the full room and enabling all the ota setting from the pitch black recovery you will get that pb folder inside your file manager so make sure you have pb folder inside your file manager this is very important process now go back and click on the settings click on about phone and you can see here this is redmi note 5 pro and click on system update and you can see here there is ota update available here and you can see here there is ota update of miui 10 9.5.23 available and it's around 170 mb and you can see here this is downloading here and this downloading process might take some time so i will fast forward this process and you can see here it is downloaded here now click on reboot now and now your phone will reboot here and now your phone will reboot to custom recovery peace black mode and you can see here the OTA update is installing here and this process might take some time this might take about 5 to 10 minutes so I will fast forward this process as well and after 5 to 10 minutes it will redirect you to the home page of peace flag recovery so we are in home page of peace flag recovery right now and now we have to check either all the OTA settings are still enabled or it's disabled. So for this we have to click on this advanced button. And now click on additional, click on special and click on setting OTA. And now I will show you it closely so that you can see it clearly. And you can see here include system in OTA survival is disabled. So we have to click on it and make it enable and make sure all of them are enabled now go back and now click on reboot and click on system and your phone will reboot to system and this rebooting process might take some time so i will skip this process as well and you can see here finally the phone boots up and now i will unlock the pattern so we have successfully installed OTA update on our phone and we also have the custom recovery installed on our phone. So I hope you understand the process how to install OTA update on Redmi Note 5 Pro even if you have custom recovery installed on your phone. So now I will go to the settings and go to the about phone and you can see here the MIUI version MIUI 10 global 9.5.23 beta. And now I will show you it closely so that you can see it clearly and you can see here all the specifications here you can see MIUI version you can see Android security pass level of 2019 6.5 you can see Android version 9 here so we have successfully installed OTA update on our phone and if you think the video is finished well then you have to wait again so now what if you get the next update what things you have to do if you get the next OTA update so I will show you that thing also so to get next OTA update, I have to wait about a week. So see you after next week. One week later. It's been a week and I got a new OTA update of MIUI 10 Global 9.5.30 Beta. And I'm gonna show you how to install this OTA update for the second time. So here we go. And this is the same Redmi Note 5 Pro, trust me. And we are in about phone section right now. And you can see here the MIUI version 9.5.23 beta ROM. And you can see the Android security pass level of 2019.6.5 and the Android version 9 here. And you can see here there is OTA update available here. When you click on the system update button, you can see here there is OTA update available. 
and the OTA update of MIUI 10 9.5.30 available there. So we are going to install this OTA update. And one more thing I wanted to show you that when you go to your file manager application, you must have their PB and PBRP folder there. And I have already explained about those folders. So here you can see there is PB and PBRP folder. So we are all done here. Okay, now we have to go to the custom recovery mode. For this, we have to power off your phone and press power button and volume up button simultaneously. Then you will be redirected to the custom recovery mode. Or you can go to recovery mode from setting menu also. So for this, go to settings and click on about phone system update click on these three dots and click on reboot to recovery and click on reboot now and your phone will reboot to recovery mode so we are in custom recovery piece black mode right now and first of all we have to check either all the ot settings are enabled or not so for this we have to click on this advanced button so click on advanced and click on additional click on special and click on setting OTA and check either all of them are enabled or not and you can see here all of them are enabled here so nothing to do here now go back and click on reboot and click on system and your phone will reboot to system here and now I will unlock the pattern and now we just have to go to the settings and update our phone from there so for this we have to go to the setting so i will go to the setting menu here and this is the file manager and you can see here there are pb and pbrp folder right over there so now i will go to the setting menu and click on about phone and click on system update and you can see here there is update available here now click on download the update here and you can see here the update is downloading here and i will fast forward this download because this downloading process might take some time And as you can see here, the downloading process has been completed. Now you can see here there is reboot now button. So simply click on it and your phone will reboot here. And your phone will reboot to custom recovery piece black for a little bit. And as you can see here, the update is installing here and this process might take some time. This might take about 5 to 10 minutes. So I will fast forward this process so you don't have to wait for long. And after 5 minutes, it will redirect you to the home page of Peace Black Recovery. And you can see here. So now we just have to click on the reboot button. And click on system. And your phone will reboot to system here. And this rebooting process might take some time, about 3 to 4 minutes. So I will fast forward this process as well. So finally, we are in lock screen. Now we just have to unlock the pattern first of all. So finally we have updated our phone for the second time even we have the custom recovery installed on our phone. And now I will directly go to the setting menu and go to the about device so that you can see that our phone is updated to the latest version. So I will directly go to the setting menu. And you can see here the pop up notification updated MIUI successfully. So I will directly click there. And you can see here the phone is updated to the latest version. So I will go to the setting menu and go to the about device. And you can see here the MIUI version 9.5.30 beta right now. So you can see the Android security pass level of 2019 6.5. This is same I think. And the Android version Android 9. So you can see here this is the same phone Redmi Note 5 Pro. And we have updated it for the second time. Even if we, even we have the custom recovery installed on our phone. And finally the video tutorial is completed. And the video is little bit long. And thank you for watching the video so long up to here. And I'm really glad that you watched the whole video up to here. And thank you for that once again. And I hope you understand how to get regular OTA updates and install OTA updates on your phone. Even if you have custom recovery installed on your phone. 
so that's it for today guys hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below and share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our crack so youtube channel and hit that notification bell as well so thank you for watching and see you in my next video until then goodbye